Hey there, my name is Julie Faith Ann Balzer, and I am a printmaker, a painter, and a collage artist living and working outside of Boston, and welcome to my studio. Um, this week, I am teaching a massive five-day workshop here in my studio. I'm just about to start shoving uh, tables around, but before I set up, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about something that's a major tenant of my studio practice, of how I've been improving, of something that I encourage in all my classes, and that is the importance of practice. It would be impossible for me to overemphasize the idea that you have to practice, that you have to use your good papers, that you have to use your precious things, that you have to make lots of mistakes, that if you want to make good art. If you want to make things that you like, if you want to make art that is exciting and interesting, if you want to do all those things, I know this won't come as any surprise, but you have to practice and you have to expect that a lot of that practice won't go well. You know, if you were learning to throw a ball, you would throw the ball hundreds of times. Maybe, you know, in a day you might throw it a hundred times. Your arm would hurt. It wouldn't have hit its mark plenty of times and you wouldn't expect it to be perfect every single time. So art's the same way. Sitting down to create and expecting to do a project from start to finish, to create an art journal page from start to finish, to create a masterpiece from start to finish in one sitting, I think is completely unrealistic. Um, and just leads to some crazy making. These are practice collage sketches, and I may refer back to them, I may not. I may just explore some ideas, touch my supplies, lose my fear of using my good stuff, whatever it is. The whole point is that I'm trying to explore, I'm trying to learn, and I'm trying to grow. So if you don't have a sketchbook, a studio notebook, whatever you want to call it, grab one. It doesn't have to be a fancy book. It can be a lined notebook from, you know, the convenience store or a leftover pieces of paper if you don't have a notebook. I mean, and the collage paper you have can be fancy, it can be simple, it can be found, it can be made. The whole point is just to make sure that you are making things as often as possible, every day, if you can. And the other thing is to make sure that you're writing down what you've learned, what you want to take away, things you want to remember. Those notes are more important to me most of the time than the art that I make in my studio notebook. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you will subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and just remember the following. You have to make mistakes. I think I kind of said it in the video, but I wanted to just flat out say it. You have to make mistakes. The fewer mistakes you make, it just means that you're not getting any better. You're not trying things that are uncomfortable. If you make a lot of mistakes, that's fantastic. But you have to pair the mistakes with some thoughtful decisions. Why am I making this mistake? How can I get better? And then you either have to seek out a way to fix it or you have to go to a trusted teacher or mentor in order to help you get on to the next level. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.